Hello, friends. I'm Dee Buffy, your ex this album, and preach with its title. Passport bros are dying. I've seen things about this before. People going to these other countries, trying to find love, trying to build families, and, you know, things are happening. Uh, let, let's hear what they have to say. Let's watch. Tonight, an urgent warning for Americans visiting Colombia after a mm, string of tourists I love Colombia. I, love Colombia. <laughs> I went to Medellin. Medellin, I had the time of my life. All right. Great, great, great city. I never been to Cartagena, but I do want to go. But um, I, I loved Colombia. That's spots. The U.S. Embassy in Bogota urging travelers not to use dating apps in the country, writing in a security alert yeah. that criminals are awesome. using the sites to lure victims, with many U.S. citizens drugged, robbed, and even by their Colombian dates. Embassy officials confirming the deaths of at least eight Americans traveling in Medellin. Possibly, you thinks. could just go to those clubs. They got strip clubs lit, lit. Okay, um, just go there and like pick somebody up randomly, and you know they're probably less likely to set you up and kill you. I mean, they they could as well, but on dating apps, I feel like they got more time to plot and plan, and that's a little bit more sketchy. But if you just go, you know, and pick one up at the club, they're literally everywhere. They're they're everywhere. Um, probably want to do that. To the apps. I'm out of words to describe. I just, I don't even know how, how I feel right now. A situation oh, all too familiar for the family of 50-year-old Tuzier Zhang, an man. artist and activist from Minnesota who we first reported on last month. He had been traveling in Colombia in December when he called his brother out of the blue asking for money. This time he was like, hey, you have a couple of thousand? I was like, mm, yeah, no problem. And what do you want? He said, I want it now. I'm in this, in this bit of a situation here. I go, oh, uh, yeah, I can do that. Zhang's family telling our Minneapolis affiliate soon after he stopped responding to their messages, he was found dead. A local prosecutor mm -hmm. saying Zhang was kidnapped during a date and killed when he could not make the ransom payment and that his body was found covered in stab wounds. I was confused. I, I, to be honest with you, I don't know why, you know, what the motive is. Zhang had visited Colombia in the past, yeah, posting yeah. photos and videos to social media as this recently part? as October with an unidentified woman. The embassy's alert indicated officials do not believe all eight of the deaths are linked and said they've seen an increase in reports of incidents involving the use of online dating applications to lure victims, typically foreigners, for robbery by force or using sedatives to drug and rob individuals. Mm. Often the reports coming from major Colombian cities like Medellin, Cartagena, and Bogota. Murders of foreign the visitors were up by 29% in the latter <laughs> part of 2023 <laughs> compared to the previous year, according to the embassy, and most of the victims were U.S. citizens. It's a popular destination for Americans who are big contributors. Listen, to just go there and have a good time. You know, you could still go there to strip clubs, whatever, have a, you know, do some debaucherous shit. <laughs> but no, dating apps, let's meet up. You're doing too much at that point. You feel me? But if you just go there and experience the culture, you know, I went on this hike there. You know, I was in the streets, you know, having a great time. Their food, delicious, delicious. The weather was perfect. You know, and I felt very safe too. We walked to the gym every day. What was that gym called? Smart Fitness? Smart some of this. I don't know. But it was it was great. But just go and do normal shit on vacation. Why are you doing all of this? Columbia's RP tourism though. industry, making up nearly thirty percent of foreign travelers in the first half of last year. But behind that beauty, tragedy and unanswered questions for families like Zhang's. A case where no arrests have been announced, according to that local prosecutor. Loved ones are left to mourn from thousands of miles away. He'll draw everybody in. That's how people he is. You want to say anything about this before we go? No, but I'm not really surprised at what I said. I know you're going to say that. Oh, you're never surprised. But it's really something that I like that I see when I travel. I see a lot of people want to do that. You know what I mean? And they, what I mean by that is they want to they wanna indulge in... Uh, the local delicacies. Uh, problem with that is that there's a lot of honey. There's a lot of honey traps. From when I used to just go travel as a tourist and in, in, in resorts, you go to a bar and then there's a lady waiting there, blah blah, giving you attention and stuff like that. And then you're met with other people that want you to pay X Y Z. Uh, and that's just the escalation of that. You know what I mean? 
uh, I, I saw a video of a guy that travels the world, right? And he's just filming this, this like, but the, yeah, he's just, just, just filming in front of him. And then this lady that's passing in front of him and touches him. He's in Colombia. He, she touches him and he turns around. Why she does that? Uh, for him to follow her. And there's someone following him, right? And they're gonna go to the alley, and then that person's gonna pop up, and then the alley. to rob him of everything he has. Uh, there's a lot of those things that's happening. There, you have to be very careful whenever you travel. You indulging or people having atten- like giving you attention really quickly like that, it's a red flag, and you have to. You have to be conscious of the thing, and, 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 and be on a, you have to understand that you're not in your you're not in your house, you're not in your place, you're not in your country, and there's gonna be there's gonna be people that are gonna go to, to go to prey on 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 tourists like that. That's not something that is surprising. Something that's been going on in certain countries, Latin countries, not especially, but I mean it's a thing. It's not just Colombia. It's a lot of them. So, uh, what? No, go ahead. Let's finish. Yeah. So th- that's the reason why I'm not really. Surprise of that you if you travel a bit you hear these stories you hear you you encounter a group of uh, a Bachelor party or whatever whatnot, and there's they always have stories about that about uh, Things could go could have gone sour or shit. Yo, it was crazy last night. We almost died I, I've heard a lot of people say stories like that. Hey, miss it. You're a passport, bro You don't like Western women. That's fair You know You go to these places, you feel like a baller with your middle class salary. I mean, there's a reason why these poor countries exist. And there's a reason why these poor people try to move on up. And there's a reason why these poor girls who are very attractive are interested in you. And it's not because you cute. No. Okay. So, you know, you just, this is the thing. You traded one set of problems for a different one. And everyone got to pick the problems that they want to deal with. If you don't want to deal with the Western problems, then you got to deal with the fact that when you go to these places, a lot of these people just see you as a paycheck. Mm-hmm. A lot of these people just see you as a way out, out of poverty. And some of these people don't have good intentions. And so knowing that, you just got to accept it. That's it. That's what it comes down to. It's like me when I choose my cell phone provider. I mean, they all kind of trash. You got to pick the trash you like. Okay? You got to pick trash you like. That's it. No, you, you just know you get fucked, so you got to pick something. I mean, I recently had an outage. Nothing is perfect. <laughs> Everyone's gonna have to settle. But we all can't get what we want in life. That's okay. We all gotta pay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is that really? Spark to the I don't even know. Yeah, with being too too bad. The last day the everyday earbuds. Yeah, yeah. They say these are the people who killed St. Paul native Tujer Zhang after holding him for ransom last month. Uh-huh. And tonight, we're learning family had a previous interaction with one of the suspects. WCCO's Uba Ali talks with Zhang's brother about their relationship and what the arrests mean for the family. We know that it cannot bring Tuja back, but we also have a sense of justice. Justice for beloved Twin Cities activist and comedian Tuja Zhang. A. Zhang says this is the moment his family have been waiting for since finding out about his brother's murder. What's even sweeter is that it even came before the funerals. Family remembers Tu Zhe as a fearless community leader who fought for justice. A community vigil last month brought together hundreds of people and elected officials. So they did end up catching the people who did it. <coughs> and I want to play the video in the full context and then we can kind of come. How long is Cambodian? You should have went there to pick up girl. At least you would have been more familiar with me. I think it is. Yeah, okay. It sounds Cambodian. So I think he was kind of a bit of a pioneer for that scene's for that country's Mm -hmm. comedy scene. Three adults and a child are charged with killing him. Video from Comedy Scene. Three adults and a child are charged with killing him. Video from Colombian officials show the very moment two people were arrested, including this woman who A spoke to before. To have that kind of betrayal. That was the woman in the Instagram video. Mm-hmm. You know, it just breaks my heart. You know, if they were able to, to do this to my brother, they could do it to someone else, someone else too. The State Department yeah. says this is a troubling trend in Colombia. An alert from the U.S. Embassy warns tourists about using dating apps in that country. The embassy says eight Americans have died under suspicious circumstances in Medellin, Colombia, from November through December. Yeah, 
A. Zhang says while his brother did not meet a woman online, he's urging people to stay aware and hopes these now public arrests stop other families from going through this pain. Why are you I just don't like when people talk about it like, oh, I'm going to be a passport belt and you think everything's going to be smooth and easy. No. Immigration is complicated. Going over there, dealing with somebody from a complete foreign culture, that's complicated. Mm -hmm. You may not realize it, but you and your Western mindset, you are actually not ready for their cultural experience. You're not. You're not. The way you dress, the way you talk, the way you act, a lot of them not going to rock with you. That's why a lot of these guys go over there and they stick out like a sore thumb. Right? They walk around. Why do you think they always get targeted? Because it's very obvious that they don't fit in. So it's one of the ones where it's just like... This reminds me, I'll talk about Yeah, you feel for these people. And I think in this guy's situation, he came out of a rough divorce maybe like two, three years prior. So obviously he's trying to find love. He's trying to find his way in his late 40s. And here he is before the, probably That's one of the most love. beautiful women he's ever seen. And she's head over heels for him. It's very easy to see how these guys fall for this shit. But let's not front. These guys go to this place for sex tourism. Mm -hmm. They go over there with their money because they know they probably can get laid. So it's not like they go in there with good intentions for cheap. So you go over there with not the greatest intentions, finding bad outcomes. Yeah. I go to these places. I've been to these countries. It's not a horrible experience if you're not over there looking for the wrong things. If you're not over there trying to be involved with the wrong things. If you're not advertising the wrong things, you'll generally be okay. But a lot of people don't have that wherewithal or they do go over there for the sex. And then they're surprised when they're in the underbelly of the underworld. Like, who do you think is helping these women to prostitute themselves? It ain't cops. It ain't the legal people. Sometimes it is. They not actually legal people. Fair. Sorry. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You're dealing with dangerous elements. Yeah. So, knowing all this, it's like, you know, I hear about this passport, bro. And listen, everybody should go find their love however they got to do it. You want to go back to your native country and figure that shit out? Good for you, boss. But everyone who makes it sound like the grass is greener, they lying. Everybody's selling everybody a pipe dream. Oh, it's going to be... And I don't even tell you over here it's going to necessarily be better. I'm not telling you which one is the answer. I'm just saying be honest about what it's like to actually go out there and find somebody. Mm -hmm. I hear all the time people, oh, I brought this girl back and then she moved here. She hated it. Why? Because the weather in North America is nothing like her perfect country, right? The culture over here is nothing like her country. All of a sudden, she's now in the Western world living with you and she's in an environment where people don't talk to their neighbors. She's in an environment where people are no longer in this kind of communal aspect like she had back in her, her, name, her hometown, right? So understand importing someone from a complete foreign culture it's not easy. It's not seamless. And for a lot of people, it does dissolve the whole experience. So, I don't know. There's, there's so much that you can say about trying to find somebody overseas with a whole different cultural background, different racial background, different geographical background. Like, understand, you're taking on a lot. But all I hear these guys talk about is, like, they have traditional values. They're submissive. A lot of folks are in for a rude awakening in my experience. Um, and they just turn out to be tricks. But what do you want to say? I think they want to fuck with you. Even if it's not just fucking, it's a relationship, they want to have a relationship with you. It's like, they don't want to deal with the hassle. It's like if they want to cut corners. They want to cut corners in the, in, in, in the, in the relationship or, or finding someone and stuff. So they go elsewhere. Oh, I'm going to look like a big ass baller, so she's going to depend on me. There's something weird about that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, but I don't think it's weird. Imagine you live in New York, and then you move out to Ohio with your same salary and you feel much better because you can afford a bigger home. Is that weird? No. You're maximizing the return on your investment. You're taking what you got and you're going to a place where you can get a better return on investment. I know people who work when, remotely. When, I don't have a problem with this That's material. When it's a person, I can afford a person. We're talking about a whole ass relationship. That's what I have an issue with. Like, when you want to have a good run for your money, when it's material, I don't have a problem with it. But when it's like a relationship and a person, I'm like, oh. Mm. Why is that bad? Not as bad. I feel a certain way about it. And I even put like my finger on it. Sorry. I'm like, I did it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't want to do all that stuff. I mean, if, if you're going to do sex workers, then I mean, I guess go overseas. But like I said, the people who do that kind of work over there are not the best people. So just understand, to them, you're just a big old paycheck that can change their lives. So they going to go for it. Some of the best actors. That's it. That's it. Interessante. Uh, RIP to the people who have died, the eight people. Crazy. Uh, but yeah, you just have to be aware of your surroundings. You have to be smart about it, even if you are like linking up with people, you know, involving yourself in debauchery. You know, you just have to practice some type of discernment. This reminds me of when I was in Brazil with my homegirl. It's just me and her. And, you know, people always talk about Brazil is so dangerous, da da da. Okay. We're like maybe 30 minutes outside of Rio and we at this local block party. All right. It's nothing but Brazilian thing. <laughs> Nobody speaks English. Like we hear everybody talk, you know, around us. Everybody speaking Portuguese. We don't know what the fuck going on. We don't understand the music. It was a vibe because <laughs> we had just left this club. Club was over. All right. We're like, cool. Oh, it's a block party out here. All right. Cool. We outside. 
talking to people through Google Translate or whatever, you know, having a good time drinking or whatever. And at some point, I start looking around. I start seeing a lot of people was looking at us, like just turning and looking at us. That wasn't the case previously. But after a while, we started attracting a lot of attention. I guess they was hearing us talk because in Brazil, it's a mix of different cultures, races and stuff like that. So a lot of people uh, look different. <laughs> so I don't think that it was based on the way that we looked per se, but more so they started hearing that we were talking. And maybe people start going to, oh, those are Americans over there. But all I know is after a while, people started taking notice to us. I tap my homegirl like, hey, we about to get in the Uber and get the fuck up out of here. As soon as I say that, they start fighting. <laughs> you know, somebody brought a bat out, start hitting somebody with a bat. I start recording this on my IG story. You want to go check it out. And I'm like, oh, shit, this shit getting ghetto. It's time to go. It's time to go. You got to get the fuck out of here. But I, I just recall, like, having to tell her, like, hey, th- Black is hot. <laughs> All right. People are starting to take notice of us. I don't know if they plotting on us. I don't know what they're doing. But they they starting to actually pay attention to us and starting to look at us. I don't like that. We need to get up out of here. And then, you know, we got another sign from the universe. Hey, a fight broke out. So I was like, yeah, let's get up out of here. But you just have to pay attention to things like that because danger is everywhere, you know. And, you know, I don't think you should completely avoid some of these countries. People are black. I have a friend who's like, I would never go to Colombia. And I'm just like, hey, that's on you. I had a great time there one of my favorite countries in South America, honestly. But, you know, you can go, you can do whatever you want to do, but you just have to be smart about it. And that's the problem. A lot of people just don't move with the intelligence. (laughs) You know, I guess they are so comfortable with, you know, living in America and feeling like, oh, it's dangerous here and I'll navigate here, no problem. So I'm going to just go here and it's not, no. People will definitely be more likely to plot on you there, but... Anyway, RIP to everybody. Hopefully, y'all stay safe if you want to be a passport, bro. Let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!